All I felt was that initial bang, like it felt like, you know, the bus was hitting a wall. And then um, it veered off into the right and slow and just, you know, came to a stop shortly after. You're looking at the scene of a fatal crash just a few kilometers west of Carlton Place on Highway 7. It happened around 10.15 in the morning on Friday when a Volkswagen Jetta veered into the lane of an oncoming Greyhound bus. Resulting in the death, of one fatality uh, of the driver. Uh, the male driver of the Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, it's our understanding we had 49 passengers on the bus, uh, some that received minor injuries that were not life-threatening. Uh, those passengers were uh, quickly evacuated from the scene. A local woman from here in Carlton Place happened to be driving along the stretch of the road and came upon the collision. She stopped to try to see if she could help in some way. I ran towards that, the car, but um, um, another man who it was a witness basically said uh, you don't want to look at the the driver um, so I, I gathered from that that he was probably um, beyond help having been involved in a head-on collision and after that and uh, to be able to keep that bus upright uh, I, I, I'm totally amazed and very much impressed. There were a couple of bloody noses and a, a fellow behind me who had cut his eye or cut his nose right above his eye. And, uh, you know, there was definitely a lot of panic because people weren't sure. There was a woman in front of me, two seats in front of me, who just started crying uncont uncontrollably. In Carlton Place, Doug Hempstead for Sun News.